Director's report. Um, we've had a really, uh, really, I would say, very busy month um, you know, uh, with construction and getting ready for construction, moving things around. On, it's been a real scramble, uh, but I would report that uh, everybody's done a good job and uh, lots of great things are happening. We are here in response to police brutality committed by the Burlington Police Department against three black men documented by the body camera footage released to the public last week. So we thought today, first, we could talk about tomatoes. Everyone likes tomatoes. Yep, and we have a nice big one here. Well, I think what we realized through our, our review of our water resource department and, and how we treat uh, how we treat not just stormwater but our wastewater is that there were some deficiencies where there's a lot of opportunities to invest in that infrastructure so that we don't have uh, untreated waste getting dumped into our lake when we have a system overflow. Yeah. You know what they say, history is always written by the winners. Well, the corporate crowd a century ago kind of won over the populists and managed to crush and eliminate and bury that whole history of what the relationship was between people and corporations and how what's happening today is not inevitable, it's not irreversible. Those who wish the president ill still continue down the path to get him at any price. In that fervor, a fatal mistake may be made to put all of our eggs of a legitimate wish to defeat Donald Trump in the impeachment basket and to ignore the only real strategy to have him ejected from the White House, to beat him fair and square in the next election, which is still hot upon us. We'll see how many fun terms for wastewater we can come up with tonight. I mm -hmm. have a bunch, so. Uh, should we tell any jokes? <laughs> we'll wait till the end of the evening. All right. And what do you think about that now when you look back about having a mayor walk up to? Oh, I think it's to... phenomenal. I mean, like the government being in touch with the people. Yeah. You just don't see that very often. Yeah. Officer Sheravelli then performed the Heimlich maneuver on the female and dislodged a piece of food. She began breathing again and was then assessed by Essex Rescue. Sheravelli's quick response and actions saved this person's life. So on behalf of the Essex Police Department and our community, I want to congratulate you, present you with a life-saving award. You have college students who are making the decision where do I go to college after high school and take the chance on taking out a bunch of loans or do I not go to college and risk not getting the uh, type of salary I need to survive on my own. I read um, very compelling authors talk about what the nuclear age has done to humanity um, and to this feeling of helplessness and having no voice with regard to your you know, your future or your political circumstances. Um, how can you speak up in front of a nuclear warhead? It, it's an impossibility. And we'll also partner with other organizations on getting information about emerald ash borer. You know, it's a new insect that we're, we're in fear for our ash trees. And, and what does that mean for management? And, you know, should we be leaving some? And so there we pull experts in like Tony D'Amato from UVM to come, mm -hmm. to come speak. Nice little event. Thank you, May, a lot for attending and helping dig the beginning of it, what turned out to be a very difficult hole. <laughs> uh, we're excited to see that tree um, established in part of our city. We're looking at a new drug. This is not the drug of the 70s, and it's actually not even the drug of 10 or 15 years right. ago because the concentrations have gone up so much. It was a really amazing weekend in Winooski. Um, thank you all to the visitors and residents of Winooski who came out for a number of events. Uh, specifically Waking Windows, Green Up Day, the Arbor Day Festival. Um, if we look at media as a possibility of really, really giving voice to the people, but also getting to learn and, and knowing that everybody in community can be a teacher, have something to teach to other people, and um, use this uh, platform to grow together, I always think and dream as media as a tool that is indispensable in our community.